Hello, hello, and welcome to part 15 of the series. Now, in this video, we are going to be doing Eman Slayer. We have a fiesta starting soon, so what I'm gonna do is wait for that and start mining. But before I do that, I want to buy a Mythic Enderman pet. We're going to be buying this one for 69 million. The held item is Bubblegum, and that will make my deployables two times longer. One of the main reasons I wanted this pet is because you take 30% less damage from end mobs and you get 1.4 times combat XP against Enderman. I also want to show my overflux. So I have 60 seconds on the overflux, but if I equip the pet and now I place it down, it's 120 seconds. So that's what I'm going to be using for Eman Slayer. I was going to get the artifact and the epic E drag, but what I want to do instead is get a cheaper setup so I can see exactly what you need for Enderman Slayer. Okay, so I've done quite a bit of mining. Mining Fiesta is not over yet, but my lobby ended up crashing, so I ended up doing some gold mining. That is why I'm in three fourths mineral. I got to two mil gold collection, so I can make sure I can upgrade the bank when I want to. I did end up mining quite a bit of Jasper, so what we're gonna do is sell all this and then see how much money we get. Now, there's not much difference between buy order and sell order, so I'm just gonna instantly sell it. The first inventory sells for 150 million, and and then we have about half an inventory left which sells for 84 million. That puts our purse at 681 mil. Now what we're gonna do is start Enderman Slayer. Okay, so first I wanna upgrade my Wand of Menden. For that, I'm gonna need a stack on 16. Viscera. I'm also going to need two stacks of enchanted dark oak wood and that upgrades my wand and then that craft upgrades it to the wand of atonement. Now what I want to do is put ultimate wise 5 on my wither cloak and that's only 2.5 mil. There we go. We're going to be buying this Reaper Scythe for 28 million. This is what we're going to be using for the hit phase. Currently, we only have one soul in here, so we're going to have to go get some more. I'm now in the Crimson Isle, and I'm going to be killing Wither Spectres and hopefully getting some souls. There we go, we just got our first sow, and there's our final with a spectre. Hopefully this works, but it might not, and we might end up having to go into dungeons and getting some tank zombies. And now the next thing is, I bought a bunch of these mana things, and each one of them reduces the cost of the overflux by 1% each. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply all of these, and now it only costs 40% of my max mana instead of 50%. It also only cost 400k each, and now we're in the Bruiser hideout. We're going to start our very first Enderman Slayer. Now this is going to be very easy. I'm going to be able to just hype this. And now tier 1 spawning. We have to do hip phase. And now I can just hype it. There we go. And now we're going to try a tier 2. This one could go a little bit bad, but hopefully it won't. I think we'll be fine though. We are doing this in a new area now because I forgot this area was a place to be honest. Okay, we're about to spawn our tier 2, place down our orb and start it up. Okay, yep, there we go. So we're easily doing tier 2s. Now we're going to try a tier 3. Now this one could go very different. Okay, we just started our tier 3. Hip phase went well. Okay, and I'm dead. We might need to get FD first. Now, I do have FD, but I can't use it yet until Enderman Slayer 4. So, I think I'm gonna do tier 2s till Enderman Slayer 4. Okay, this is our last tier 2. So, I can claim Enderman Slayer level 1 all the way to level 4. Only 15 Skyblock XP for level 1. 25 for level 2. 35 for level 3 and 50 for level 4 and skyblock level 148 but now i can use my final destination armor okay we're buying 90 null spheres and i want to craft a talisman there we go my magical power is 516 i do want to get it up a tiny bit and there's a few easy talismans that i can get so we're in the spider's den now it turns out i never actually talked to the archaeologist and got his compass which is a talisman Okay, we're going to do the campfire trials because we haven't done that yet. This is very easy, but once it gets hard, I'm going to have to start using the wither cloak and the overflux. 
And there is the first talisman. I'm gonna try go as far as I can with this. Okay, and now I need to pay for the next upgrade. And that's just 160 dark oak wood. The rarity is now uncommon. Okay, so we started using the wither cloak to get the fire trial done. And now we need to upgrade it again. This time we need 100 enchanted acacia wood. And now it's epic. We bought the full set for around 5 mil. And we're gonna put that on so we have more HP. And now we're just gonna abuse the wither cloak. There we go, and that's the last one. And now we just need to upgrade it. And it's only gonna cost 4 million for the jungle wood. And now it's legendary. Okay, we're gonna do our second attempt at a tier 3. And hopefully it will go well. Okay, we've swapped out FD. And now we're gonna do hip phase. We are taking near enough no damage. Running out of mana a little bit though. Okay, we just did hip phase again. Beacons are also not a problem. And there we go, it's done. I'm currently editing the video. I just watched back the tier 3 fight, and I realized how bad that attempt was. I still got the kill, but using full FD gives you a full set bonus. And the full set bonus is, if you crouch, it costs 2 soul flow per 5 seconds in combat, and you get 1.25 times intelligence. If I crouched during that whole fight, I would have gained so much more mana, and so much more ferocity. That whole fight would have gone so much more smoother so i just wanted to say that but onwards with the video okay so we have 650 million our purse and i want to use 400 million of that on talismans our talisman power is 545 so i'm gonna go ahead and buy a bunch of talismans the first talisman is gonna be the pocket espresso machine this is very cheap and it also gives me more intelligence when i'm in combat and now we're crafting the devour ring it's crafting price was about 3.5 million, so that saves me a tiny bit of money. Next, we're going to be upgrading our Red Claw Talisman. There's the first upgrade, and we'll be making the second upgrade in a second. And here is the final upgrade of the Talisman. Next is the Zombie Artifact. And now we're going to buy a bunch of Recoms. That was expensive. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and buy three more recoms. That puts my purse at 380 mil, so I can still spend quite a bit more money. But first, we're gonna go ahead and recom a bunch of talismans. Okay, so before we recom any of our talismans, we are at 566 magical power. We're gonna start by recoming the legendary talisman and all five of our epic talismans. And this goes to mythic, and the rest will end up going to legendary. And now we can put all of this back in the bag. Now we're going to recom all of our rare talismans and we have quite a bit of those. So this is going to take some time. And that's the last one. It'll be really cool to see exactly how much magical power we go up. Okay, we just got level 150 and that upgraded our bucket progression. We're now at 704 magical power. Okay, we're in the end now and we're going to be testing our damage. We got to 700 magical power and I'm hoping that's going to be enough to kill a tier 4. If not, I'm going to go for 800 magical power and we'll have to spend quite a bit more money. So we're dealing about 820k damage it's not too bad i'm gonna go ahead and try to do a tier 3 and see how that goes okay i have just spawned the tier 3 we're gonna see how this goes didn't take too much damage which was really nice i will 100 percent need to upgrade to more summons hp is getting a little bit lower but it's fine. Boss is also holding a beacon and it's dead. I'd say that went pretty well. It could have been a little bit better. If I wasn't so close to the boss during hit phase, I wouldn't have taken too much damage. But I think we're ready to try a tier 4. Well, actually, first, I do want to get some tank zombies. I've got one tank zombie and two wither specters. And wither specters are pretty bad, so I'm going to have to remove those. Probably by getting them killed. And then I'll go into dungeons and try find some tank zombies. Okay, so after a little bit, we have got all tank zombies in the Reaper Scythe now. Thanks to Pharaoh helping me with it. I haven't started 
started solo dungeons and I'm not going to for a while, so I had to use him basically as a frag bot. Okay, we're now going to start our first tier 4. This will be the first of the profile. Alright, we're about to spawn the boss now, and hopefully this goes well. I'm gonna go ahead and place my orb down first, and hopefully hip phase goes well. It looks like it's fine. I might need to buy a Soul Whip for extra mana. I am running out of mana, so I do think a Soul Whip will be very important. Hip phase is going fine. Oh, I'm very low. Gonna watch the HP, use the healing wand a little. I think a soul whip is definitely needed here. So I took a little bit too much damage there, but I also ran out of mana. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a soul whip and hope that fixes my mana problem. Okay, I noticed that we have a problem. The soul whip has a requirement of fishing skill 26, and I'm only fishing level 17. So this is kind of bad. Now I do have quite a bit of fishing minions here, and I think I'm going to go claim them. Problem is I don't have a squid pet, so I might try borrow one from the guild. Okay, next gen is going to... Let us borrow his legendary squid pet, and hopefully this is going to get us to fishing 26. I don't think it will, but we can hope. And collecting the last fishing minion nearly got me to fishing 22. We also made like 5 million just collecting the fishing minion, so it wasn't too bad. But we might need to start thinking about doing a little bit of fishing just to get to fishing 26. Okay, I spawned my boss a little too early. I made a little upgrade. I got Ender Slayer level 6 on my hype. I didn't really... I didn't have it, but I'm gonna quickly do hip phase, hopefully not die. I am pretty low. Okay, my summons are dying. Just gotta be a little careful with that. Okay, gotta be careful of the lasers. This is where a soul whip would be very nice to have. Now, I can't remember if I recorded it, I might have stopped the recording by accident, but I collected all my fishing minions and got to fishing 22. It's not bad, but I did want to hit fishing 26. Because I need the mana from the soul whip. Got to be a little bit careful here. Beacons are very easy, but they can be a tiny bit annoying. Okay, I'm very low. Grab the beacon. Oh, there we go. Okay, we killed it. I did not actually expect to be able to kill it there. It did take 2 minutes and 43 seconds, but I also 
was probably waiting for about a minute before I spawned it because I spawned it a little too early. Now there is a lot we can improve on. For example, getting the hype a little bit better. I haven't even got hot potatoes in the hype. Now one thing I did forget about was the skulls. I remembered right at the end and for that reason that's why I didn't die there. But in the first fight I completely forgot about the skulls. So now all that's left is just to get better basically. Pharaoh did tell me about the Ender Slayer 6. I didn't have it on my hype so I made that change so that definitely helped with the damage increase okay we're gonna try and do another tier 4 and see if we can do it pretty efficiently we are going to try to remember about the heads hopefully we can do well on that I just have to be careful with my damage because I do take a lot of damage and stuff like hip phase. Okay, gotta get that beacon. And now it's in the laser phase, we can rebuild mana up again. And it's in hip phase again. Just got to keep the distance. And I need to get that beacon. Ooh. Okay, we're lagging a tiny bit. I don't know how low that boss was. I'm hoping it was really low because that guy just randomly came and killed my boss, which is pretty annoying. Okay, so it's taken me about 96 seconds to kill a tier 4. Now that's not too bad. I'm probably completing one, including the spawning time, every 3 minutes, which is not bad at all. But at my current rate, it's going to take me 20 hours to hit Enderman Slayer 7. Now, I do want to speed this up quite a bit, so I might change my setup a little bit, but we're gonna need some money for that first. Now, if I wasn't trying to rush Enderman Slayer 7, this setup would be perfect. Okay, so, we are done with mining. I've said this for quite a while, but I haven't done it yet. I I'm going to take all the perfect gems out of my armor and gauntlet and I'm going to sell them to the bazaar. And then I'm going to sell the whole Devon set and probably the gauntlet. I feel like keeping the gauntlet because it's like an infinite pickaxe. It's really nice to have. I could keep it for something like Scafer Mining if I ever wanted to try that. So I'm not totally sure if I'm going to keep it or not, but I'm definitely taking the gems out of it. There we go. So we got three gems out of that. And now we have to do the same thing with the whole armor set. I've taken all the gems out of my armor and gauntlet. This is now a clean set. Now we're going to sell every piece for around 70 to 80 million. But if we insta sell, I'll get 274 million. I think I might try sell off a first. Okay, all the sell offers are up and I'm going to wait to sell my armor because one of my guild members wants to buy it. Okay, we already have quite a bit of gemstones to claim. We are going to re-put these orders up. Because a couple of them have got outdated already. But the purse is sitting at 578 million now. Okay, so we're buying an epic e drag for 460 million, which is 40 mil cheaper than lowest bin. This is gonna help us a lot with Eman Slayer because it deals 200% more damage to end mobs. Now, I only have 117 mil left in the purse, so I need to make about 280 mil. And if I make that much money, I can buy Ender Artifact. In my bazaar, I also have 73 million which is the perfect gems and one of them didn't sell i'm just going to insta sell that that puts me at 200 mil so i only need another 200 mil okay so i've been to a few dark auctions and i can't find an end artifact so what i'm gonna do is just buy one and i think i'm gonna go ahead and buy this one because it has an enrichment and it's recomped and the difference is only one coin so i'm gonna go ahead and buy this 
Okay, I have 54 mil left in my purse. Now this is going to help me because I also have the E-Drag now. And that gives me a Skyblock level and I also hit 723 magical power. I ended up selling my Devon set, so mining is completely out of the question now. We are done with that part of the profile and now it's time to get back to Enderman Slayer. Okay, another thing is I'm crafting a Fire Veil. I was just going to buy this, but because I have 10 Lumino Fiber, I might as well just craft it. Hopefully I get good attributes here because I don't really want to buy one. I need one with Mana Steel for the extra mana we got bad ones i might just sell this and just buy a better one okay so they're going for 12 million now i want one with mana steel on the cheapest mana steel one is 13 mil so only one mil more we're gonna go ahead and buy this one with ultimate wise 5 on it for 13.2 mil okay now that we bought that so now we're gonna auction the fire veil for 11.9 mil and now that we have the fire veil, we're going to go start Eman Slayer. Okay, we're doing our last boss now. This is a lot easier, but still, throughout my whole grind, I've been running out of mana quite a bit, so it's been a little bit annoying. Also, I have noticed that... The lobby cannot stand more than a couple people doing bosses at once and dragons. It is Diana, so everyone is doing dragons. The lobbies are very laggy. The TPS just sucks. But it's fine, you know, we move. I really miss my duplex 5 term for hip phase because these summons are so annoying. Oh, got a little bit of lag there. And someone else has decided he wants to help me with the boss. That is the final boss done. A Enderman Slayer level 7. So now I can go ahead and claim my rewards. I've got Enderman Slayer level 5 to claim. And another Skyblock level. Enderman Slayer 6. And we'll be getting another level there. And finally Enderman Slayer level 7. Level 155. Okay, we're now going to be going over all the loot we got while grinding to Eman 7. So to start off, we got a bunch of Null Spheres. They're not worth much at all. As you can see, each stack is going for around 844 coins. We probably made 100k altogether from these. I was selling them as I was going because you get so many. And now we have a bunch of loot to go over. So the first main bit is the Twilight Arrow Poison. Each stack is going for 223k sell offer and 166k insta sell i'm not gonna insta sell these so i'm gonna put a sell offer up and this is gonna be for about 3.3 .3 million next we have the sinful dices not worth much at all i'll probably not sell these and i can just npc sell the enderman cortexes and i'm gonna insta sell the hazmat enderman the transmission tuners i'm also gonna insta sell and the summoning eye i'm going to also insta sell there's 160k from the hazmat Enderman and the rest of this I can just insta sell and I'm also going to sell the absolute ender pearls and the endstone rose as well as the null atoms the last thing we have are bugs smarty pants one goes for a lot but we also have a bunch of mana steel freeze and a mana steel two so I'm going to put up sell offers and see how much we can make nearly a million coins from the mana steel freeze and four million coins from the smarty pants bucks and 60k from the mana steel two I don't think this one will fail in total that's about five million just from the bugs calculating everything up together we made about 12 million so we made about 2 million coins profit off getting to enderman slayer level 7 now obviously i didn't do this for the money i did this for the term requirement and my next goal is to buy a term but before i do that i'm gonna need to get some coins so i'm going to auction my ender dragon pet and my ender artifact selling these two items will allow me to get the terminator we are auctioning the ender dragon for 469 million coins and the ender artifact for 398 million coins when this sells i will be able to buy a pretty good terminator the next thing i'm going to be grinding is kudra and that'll be in the next video if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe see you in the next one